I really got involved in the restorative justice work out of my frustration of being a criminal defense attorney working in a system that I really didn't think was designed to meet the needs of people very well. I think people care, but the way that the system is designed right now, it's very difficult for folks to care in a way that is supportive of victims. It's more towards the punishment and the focus is on, you know, how can folks be punished? How can the people that did the harm be punished rather than how can we help those who have been harmed heal when that's what's needed? Because I basically did everything. And it was like revolving doors. They kept telling me to do this, do this, get this, get this, get this. And I already got it. I know that out of frustration, sometimes good things can happen. Uh, we started taking in cases from the juvenile court only. We were a juvenile court diversion program. And where it's grown to now is just really phenomenal. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Because I was a mess. Restorative justice is is facilitated through restorative practices, which uh, largely do not just address harm and conflict, uh, but they address community building and empathy growing. I'm here to share about my son, Brian. That could be through a circle process, which uh, could typically look like a listening circle that is regulated uh, with a talking piece and with a keeper who is an equal participant. I don't know how much everybody knows, but in June of 2002, I committed a horrific act and, and killed an acquaintance of mine. Mm -hmm. And then was arrested two days later and, and was put on trial in March of 2004 and sentenced to death in San Diego Death Road, probably Central Prison. Um, after arrival here, and I had no idea what to expect. And once I just kind of got into the rhythm of things, I realized that there was really nothing offered for anybody here that you, you literally moved here waiting to die. And then in 2015, Mr. John Circle Group came in, the Restorative Justice Circle Group, and was very nervous, you know, about what to expect. Had no idea, you know, being able to participate with you know, six other guys who I've lived around for years. That was that was a heck of an experience, and having that trust that where we can like openly talk about what we've done and until we met the next Friday, you know, and, and like in the, in the interim period between those Fridays. There'd be like so many feelings that, you know, would come to the surface and we couldn't wait to get back in the class and discuss some of that. And it was just an amazing experience, something that you know, had never been offered here before. And then of course Miss Linda came. That was that was amazing and I remember feeling very ashamed. Um, when we knew that, that Linda was coming and, and John had it introduced her to us so prior to her coming, who she was and what she's been through. And I think that did at that point is when I really, you know, speaking in front of her, I was really able to take responsibility for what I've done and, and understood what that meant. It was a very, very powerful and life changing experience for me. And even to the point where, like, I've discussed with my family members you know, that experience and who she is and the things she's done, what, what I've known of that she's done. And it's just changed my, my relationships with my family as well. Jason, I, I got to tell you, I was nervous also <laughs> and scared. And, um, you know, you all were so welcoming. It was just unbelievable how much love and peace was in that room. And then afterwards, the experience that I had afterwards when you all affirmed my story. Um, and you were my surrogate, you know, offender. Like, I couldn't meet with James Moore like I wanted to. But I had all of you um, that just helped so much. And, you know, and we just, I don't know, I connected with you all the same way you're described and the way you connected. When I shared my story and the way everybody responded was so healing for me because they were giving me what I wanted from James, but the system wouldn't allow that. And so through this process, I was getting some of that from these men. And then in turn, they were getting something from me, which they were wanting in their own lives, which was forgiveness, to be able to respond and say, I'm sorry for what I did and how I hurt my victims. I do want to give Derek some time because Derek is the reason that we were able to spend about five years doing circle at the federal prison in Butner. 
And the reason I say he's the reason is because he had been turned down for parole a couple times and they were telling him, you don't have any victim impact going for you and the nature of your crimes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they wouldn't let him out. You know, once that circle came to the prison, then it helped me tremendously. We are working with a brand new high school in Wake County this year that is serving uh, high school students that are in recovery and have not been able to be successful within their traditional school environment. I mean, recovery high schools show statistically that they work anyway, but to truly add restorative justice practices fully implemented without having the punitive side to it is, is amazing. I'm just very grateful that all of that has happened and I'm very grateful that we have so many law students that are interested in doing this work and that is a big part of what we do. They sign up for the clinic, they get the classroom instruction, but they also go out with us into the field and they're involved in, in every aspect of what we do. As much as you know, this clinic has changed my life, I think it's the people that work in this work with us. You grow connection and empathy and understanding and you learn about vulnerability and who you are to your core. I think we're raising a generation of, uh, of caring, compassionate attorneys that are very competent in the law, but also very caring about the people that they have the privilege to work with. And I love going into circles, and I love meeting the man, and I love seeing the humanity piece. I could be a big help to people in life. And just to share my story, to make people see the direction I went through and the direction I'm going through now, I mean, it's tremendous.